Hey, what's up and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be doing a video called You're Bad at Craigslist where we look at all the Craigslist posts and we critique them. We look at them, we talk about them, and we laugh. Do you know what this is? You're not new here. Unless you are new here, then welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. This is You're Bad at Craigslist number something I forgot. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Be naked at my sister's wedding. My sister is having an outdoor wedding in May. I want someone to be naked in the woods and run through the wedding in order to ruin it. I will pay you and protect you from my family. Why do you want someone to ruin your sister's wedding? Are you jealous? Is this a jealous sister? Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. I just want to ruin it because I'm in love with her husband. Or maybe it's some dude that's like, I'm just a dick. I want to ruin my sister's wedding. I think it's going to be hilarious. Don't worry, I'll protect you from my family. But you're going to find out when you get there, I'm not going to protect you from my family at all and you're gonna get the shit kicked out of you. What I'm really looking for is a naked person to run through my sister's wedding to ruin it and then I'm gonna kick the shit out of them and save the day. Like holy crap that was crazy. Good thing I was there. Refrigerated condiments. All opened. Soy sauce, salsa, baking yeast, ketchup, mustard, black bean sauce, rice vinegar, balsamic vinegar. Someone is very desperate for money if you're selling your refrigerated condiments. That's some crackhead shit right there. You're selling them for crack, aren't you? How much are you gonna give me? Opened condiments. You also have to be pretty desperate to buy this off Craigslist. Like, holy shit, someone's got a deal on half empty ketchup. Shit. They opened everything. You're supposed to buy sealed things so people don't tamper with them. This person could have hawked a loogie in every single one of those and they're just getting off on the fact that someone bought them to use. But more likely they're selling them for drugs. Looking for a roommate to share this gorgeous two bedroom and one bathroom luxurious and spacious penthouse loft. With several upscale amenities and snow removal provided, this is a maintenance free place to live. Relax and unwind and escape the hard stressful workday in a private atmosphere as you come home to professional luxurious aroma scent along with the top of the line air purification unit on the HVAC. Crisp, clean smelling air is what you can expect along with chill lounge music playing softly on the Focal Utopia sound system with Macintosh tube amps. Private parking garage with security provided alarm system including security cameras and valet parking for your convenience and to show off some too. Just like Patrick Mahomes and Brittany does. Attached you will find photos of the beautiful modern slash contemporary living room with all our arch furniture, spacious, spare bedroom, and beautiful fun bath. Yes, and it goes on, but let's have a look at this beautiful place. Oh, it's so beautiful, wow. Really, the ad should have been like, hey, have you ever wanted to swim in a pile of garbage? Well, you should be my roommate, because I'm the dirtiest motherfucker on the planet. Clean your damn room. That is disgusting. Oh. Imagine how many animals are buried under that filth. Nose warmer, crochet, adult unisex nose warmer. Uh, I think this one's like Etsy or something. Nine dollars, nose warmer. Look like a fool, but your nose will be warm. You can get a red one for the holidays, walking around like you're Rudolph. That'd be kind of cool. Brand new, only used once. I got barbecue sauce on it, but it can be wiped off. My original post was taken down, but in this one, you can clearly see it's a PS5. No low ballers. I know what I have. Cash money takes it, son. In case you didn't notice, it's a PS4 with PS5 photoshopped on it in paint. Not even a good Photoshop job. Obviously, this is just a joke post. $1,300. What if someone came to pick it up? I don't understand how you got barbecue sauce on your PS4. How did you get barbecue sauce on your PlayStation? Were you using it for dip? What I like to do is I get my chicken wings and then I smear my barbecue sauce on top of my PlayStation and then I dip it on my PlayStation. Oh, okay, now this is a legit PS5. PS5, $500, ooh, that's a good price. If only you could do that. It should be a deal. Trade in your PS3 and your PS2, get a couple hundred dollars off a PS5. Because technically that's what you're trading in. It should be a clean trade. I'll trade you my PS5 for yours. Now, did anyone buy it? I just imagine some like mother who's buying it for their son doesn't know what they're looking for and they're like, that makes sense. That's a PS5. It's the three and the two. It's gotta, it's gotta do the same thing. And then there's this one. PS5, $500. Bought PS5 for husband only to find out he is a cheating asshole. So his loss is your gain. First come, first serve. I accept Cash App and Venmo. Best offer gets it. Now this one just screams scam to me. Like straight up, I just feel like someone's weaving this story and you're never gonna see that PS5. Unless it's legit, then awesome. 
I hope someone got that out of your lying, cheating asshole husband's hands. I bet you he wouldn't have cheated if he knew you were getting him a PS5. But seriously, scumbag. But yeah, you gotta be really careful with posts like this, because there's a lot of people scamming out there. COVID-19, I would like to meet a female who has C-19 and just like make out for like an hour. My company gives us two weeks paid vacation if we test positive that is separate from our regular PTO. I would love to take some time off. I've been doing everything I can think of to try to catch it, but to no avail. Not looking for a relationship or anything, just give me C-19, thanks. That is what we call a dumbass. And you wonder why COVID-19 is still so widespread. It's because idiots like this just aren't taking it seriously. I hope that's a joke post, but honestly, I wouldn't put it past the human race. This is probably legitimately someone who just wants to get it so they can get time off work, and that is fucked up. And you could die from it. It doesn't matter if you're young or old or healthy. You could still, everyone has a chance to die from it. It's so different with everyone it infects. I just picture this guy, he's like, oh, I've been doing everything to try and get it. He's been going around, what, licking shelves? Just open mouth kissing everybody he can find? Man. This is a sad world we live in. Victorian baby yeet machine. Fully restored slash finished. $300 or best offer. Holy crap, it's a catapult for babies. My baby's gonna love that. She would actually probably love it. Like, while she's flying through the air, she'd be giggling. She'd be having such a good time. It's just the landing that you gotta figure out. Free room for straight guy. I am a gay guy and own a house. I am looking for a straight guy ages 19 to 30. I have a room in the house that can be used. You must be open-minded and a nudist. Stop beating around the bush, man. You're just looking for a straight naked man to walk around your house. And oh, you have to be open-minded. So you just, you want to have sex with a straight guy. You can just come out and say it. Don't beat around the bush. Don't try to trick someone. It's okay. Girl that got hit by a car in front of Billy's last night. Oh, it's a missed connection. I was outside smoking. You were crossing the street and got hit by a car. You bounced off the hood and landed on your feet. Yelled something about being indestructible. The other night, I almost got trapped in a dumpster because I was going after a pizza that I thought I wanted to take home with me. I've also recently slept on my kitchen floor. I think we'd be a good fit for each other. Move in with me? Let's get married? Oh, come on. A good match? She is way out of your league, dude. She's indestructible. You're eating garbage pizza. Come on. Get on her level. Cat milk. Six dollars. Fresh cat milk for sale. I just milked them this morning. A little bitter because they were strays, but not bad with cereal. Six dollars per quart. Price is firm, and it's good quality milk. How can you guarantee it's cat milk? Because I watched Meet the Parents, and apparently you can't milk a cat. I haven't tried myself, but I'm going to take them on their word. Unique pig couch. That is extremely unique. Got this pig-shaped couch a few years ago. It was designed by artist Pavia Burroughs and is a really insane slash cool addition if you want your living room to look ugly as shit. It is pretty cool, though. Maybe for, like, a man cave? I don't know. I actually kind of want it for my office. I wonder if it's still available. I have corn dags for sale. Five dollar corn dags. Two for eleven or five for fifty. That math doesn't add up. Why do you have a bath full of corn dogs? That's disturbing. Pour some ketchup in there and throw me in. I'm excited. It's actually a little disturbing. And that's not going to be a comfortable bath, all those sticks poking you. Electric cutoff decoy, $30. Amarin about to shut your electric off? I make these decoys. Gives you a week extra time. Rent to your cousins. If anyone has a shut off notice, I make and sell these decoys. That's actually pretty ingenious. I mean, I pay my bills, but if I didn't, I'd be buying one of these. This is a very unusual item. One of my tenants left it for me because he owed me $250 rent. If you can guess what this is, you can have it for two twenty-five. Put a piece of glass on top of it, and it's a very interesting conversation piece end table. You can't make this stuff up. So basically, he's like two hundred fifty dollars. I don't know what the hell it is. If you know what it is, then you can have it for two twenty-five. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. You want to buy it? Seeking knee wetter. Looking for a reliable, honest, hardworking individual to work two to four hours a week as a knee wetter. My wife and I have a bathtub that is unfortunately a little too short. Our knees stick above the water and are uncomfortably cold. We would like someone who can pour a ladle of warm water over our knees every few minutes when we bathe. No uncomfortable eye contact, please you will need to sing. I mean, you can sugarcoat this all you want, like you just want your knees wet, but you know you just want someone, some stranger in close proximity while you bathe. You're getting off on it somehow. I know it. No uncomfortable eye contact. How could you not make uncomfortable eye contact? I mean, I'm gonna reply and try to get the job. I'm just saying. There's gonna be uncomfortable eye contact. 